hello guys welcome to another video and in this video what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be setting up and executing init sim so you can see how it works and init sim is basically a software uh, for simulating um, internet services in a lab environment for analyzing the network behavior of an unknown malware sample so like I said before, or oh, I don't think I have said this before. So the Flutter VM, what we're going to be using this is for the host based indicators. So basically uh, a static um, analysis of the of the malware. So we're going to be, you know, taking it apart, looking for strings, P headers and a lot of other stuff, reverse engineering, you know, uh, basically uh, just, just m most of static analysis is going to be done in the flare vm now if you want to do a network based analysis and you want to look for network based indicators we are going to be using remnox and a net sim for that so let's go ahead and set up in that sim and i will show you how to do that um, let's go ahead and clear these up let's make this bigger um, i need to make sure that i know the ip for this because we are going to need that right so the way that you execute or run in that sim is by your typing in that sim and as you can see over here it's going to start um, a bunch of services one of them is smntps https ftps smntp pop 3s pop 3 http and tftp or ftp but we are missing tns and we need dns because a lot of malware are going to be reaching out to um, basically to domain names right so we want to be able to resolve that and to be able to handle it with init sim so the way that you can do that is by let's go sudo nano etsy init sim init sim.conf so in here the first thing that we want to do is that we want to enable this dns service and for that you need to remove that um, this sign over here right this number sign and now it is enabled um, the other thing if, and if you want to do anything else like tftp ntp um, finger there's a lot of other services that you could do but that is the only one that we want to enable now the bind address um, this service bind address this one I want to change this one to basically to bind to um, to bind to all the interfaces in this machine so the way they do that is you put a 0, 0, 0, 0 and basically this is going to bind to all the interfaces in this Linux machine all right then after that we need to change the DNS default IP uh, to the IP of our Remnox machine and let's go ahead and scroll down 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 and where is it DNS here we go we are going to leave the port 53 which is fine but the DNS default IP for this one I wanted to go to 10.10.10.4 10 10 10 all right and that should be it for now so let's go ahead and do control X control Y and save it now if we do a If we go back to it just to make sure that it was uh oh where is it there we go so sudo nano let's go ahead and go back just to make sure that it was indeed yep dns is in there and it was enabled let's go ahead and actually exit out of there and let's go ahead and start in that sim again and we can see that dns is working so that is great so now we need to go ahead and test this on our um flare machine right so for us to be able to do that I need to go ahead and go to my flare VM which is that Windows machine that we have over here no nope, that's not it where's my Windows machine oh I keep going to the same one what's going on uh, Remnox is pause no, I don't want to let me unpause this I don't know why I paused that um, there we go now it's running let me go ahead and go show oh here we go I was I think I got confused because I thought this one was a um, I thought it was a 
Linux machine. <laughs> um, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go to the settings and we need to change the DNS to basically to change adapter options. Let me go, right click on it, go to properties, IPv4, properties, and then here we need to change or specify the DNS server that we want to use. And what is your guess? We are going to be using the Repnox machine. That's in that's in that four. Okay. Click OK. Close it. We can go ahead and close all of this. And if we open Commander for here and we do an IP when it's downloading, IP config slash all. We are going to see that our DNS server is 10.10.10.4. So that is great. So now let's go ahead and open Chrome. So now any website that I visit, it is going to send it to my uh, Repnox machine, right? F basically for um, for network uh, for network indicators, right? So if you go to 10.10.10.4, you can see that it's going to serve me with the this is a default HTML page for in its sim HTTP server um, fake mode. So this is the HTML an HTML document. Okay. What about if we say that we want to connect to one and two that one is eight that one that one right? Let, let's say that the malware wants to connect to this. It cannot because yeah it's not writable. That's fine. But if you go to ten 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 four. It is going to serve you that, and let's say that that malware wants to basically like download another file. Let's say it wants to download like executable that exe. What it's going to give me is going to give me uh, that exe file, right? And if you open that and open it, let's go ahead and say run anyways. It's going to tell me that this is the init init sim default GUI binary. So this is basically a binary that was downloaded from um, INET SIM. Really cool, right? Because if you're executing a, mal a malware that basically says that if you're able to connect to this website, um, go ahead and execute, right? And if you cannot connect to the website, go ahead and delete yourself, right? And if if it is unable to, you know, connect to that IP address or to that domain and download the file to make sure that it has internet, if it doesn't have internet access, it's going to delete itself, right? And, and that way we are we won't be able to analyze that malware. So that's why we need to have Inet SIM running so it can be able to handle all those um, network-based indicators for us. So we can see where it is connecting and all that good stuff. So you can see that it was downloaded. How about if it goes to um, like ran, ran somewhere dot com slash let's ransom dot exe. It is going to go ahead and download that, right? It is going to connect. So anything that you connect to any file that you try to download, it is going to give you that file because it wants to trick the malware that it was that it actually got connected to you know to the outside network and if you cannot connect to the outside network a lot of malware what, what they do is they use the lately itself and it removes any proof um, and it's going to be hard for you to do any analysis and so that's why it is good to have a, a net sim whenever you are trying to look for network based indicators of compromise right because when you see that from our Repnox, you can be running in NetSim, and we can also be running Wireshark to see all the connections that the malware is trying to do. Um, so we can see all the network indicators. We can see domain names, um, all the IP addresses that it's trying to do, everything that it's trying to download, and we can see everything, right? Because it's able to connect. And since it has a connection, it's going to execute the entire malware. So here we go. And if you open this one as well, it is going to basically send the same thing as the other one or the same thing as any um, executable that you try to download. This is the inet sim default GUI binary. So inet sim, it is going to help us, like I said, with the network, um, with our network indicators. And 
I think this is it for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, I think this is it for setting up the lab we are now going to get into the good part we are going to be doing some malware analysis and we are going to start with the static analysis first um, like finding MD5, SHA, the magic bytes, the malware strings. Uh, we are going to be finding, uh, looking at the import address table or Windows API. We are going to be looking at packing, UPX, P Studios, a lot of stuff. So this is set for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.